Okay, so the, for the first problem, it's going to be x to the third minus 5. I'll show you that. Okay, so first thing we want to do is find our candidates. And to do that, we have to look at x to the third first. So we're going to take the 1, which is not written down, from x to the third. We're going to put a square around that. Then we're going to also put a square around the 5. Then we're going to get off the, per, uh, the possible candidates from those. So it's going to be, for the 1, it's going to be plus or minus 1. Then for the 5, it's going to be plus or minus 1 or plus or minus Five. And then we're going to write down our possible candidates. Do that. Okay, so it's going to be um, 1, negative 1, 5, or negative 5. And those are all our possible candidates. So then we want to test all these candidates out and see if any of them uh, work. So the first candidate we're given is 1. Plug that in. So 1 to the third minus 5. It's going to get us negative 4 because 1 to the third is still 1, so it's going to be negative 4. So we know that that can't be our root. And then we're going to have negative 1 to the third minus 5 equals, test that out, negative 1 to the third. It's going to be negative 1 still, so it's going to be, um, so negative 1, minus 5. Yeah, it's going to be negative 6, so we know that that can be our root. Then we're going to have 5 to the third minus 5 equals, so we're going to have 5 to the third minus 5, which is going to be 120, so we can uh, be sure that that is also not a root. And then for the last one, it's going to be negative 5 to the third minus 5, and then as we know, negative 5 to the third, normal negative 5 is going to be um, 120, so 125, so then this would have to be negative 125, so this would give us negative 130. So from this, we can be sure that none of these none of these candidates give us is a root because none of these get us back to zero. And then from this from this theorem, a over b or a and b collectively um, are not these are real numbers. And so in this case, b does not equal zero, so it does not follow our rules. So this would make it non rational and that should be all the work for that one okay and also send the work separately um, and I'll do the this part um, the next part separately